use an in ni 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 Today I am giving you some tips and tricks to help survive summer as a curvy girl. Now I know before I get any comments being like, you're not really that curvy, you know, plus size women have more struggles than you, like I understand that, but I'm also trying to make this to help anybody, no matter what size they are, when they are curvier and they deal with stuff like chub rub and confidence issues because they don't feel like they can wear the clothes they want to wear. So. That's what I'm here for. So please don't get mad at me. Thanks. We've gone past the the fluff. Let's get into it. So in the heat, I know there's a lot of deodorant tricks and tips like stuff to use for when your thighs are rubbing together um, or when underneath your chest is rubbing together or in, underneath your arm, that sort of thing. Um, I know deodorant works really well for me because it does have an antiperspirant so it helps with sweating and any smell that might come along with that. Another thing that I like to do is wear biker shorts or use shapewear. I don't actually own any shapewear, um, but I know some women who do, and like some girls who do, and if you do have shapewear that's a little longer on the legs, you can wear that under dresses and it'll help from your legs going like this. Here are some other basic summer hacks that I have that I'm definitely going to be using this summer. Uh, I don't have any specific brand recommendations. I just use whatever my mom buys. <laughs> but an in-shower lotion, those are a lot easier for me during the summer because they're not as greasy and your skin doesn't feel all super sweaty when putting it on. When you use an in-shower lotion, you put it on in the shower and then wash it off and it leaves your skin moisturized so there's not that greasy, icky, sticky feeling, you know? Another thing that is really helpful is oil blotting sheets for your face and they help if you choose to wear makeup, you don't have to, um, but personally I do, and when I wear makeup, uh, oil blotting sheets help not have the makeup slide down my face as the day goes on, so those are especially helpful if you're working outside or you go to an amusement park, which don't do right now, but when we are allowed to, oil blotting sheets can help. I know it's easier said than done, but trust me, I know, uh, it does get better, and while you may feel like you're never going to love yourself, or you're never going to be able to wear those clothes you really want to wear, honestly a year ago I wouldn't have thought I'd be having a fashion YouTube channel. I never thought I would take videos of myself in outfits I really love, and then post them for the world to see, or well, the, the tiny bit of the internet that sees my videos. One tip I have for confidence building is to start small and work your way up. Um, like maybe start with a little cap sleeve t-shirt so you show a little bit more of your arm instead of going straight to a tank top if that's too much for you. And once you get comfortable with the cap sleeve t-shirt, then move to a tank top and you'll see that it is a lot easier than you first thought it was. Another thing you could do is wear culottes instead of shorts because culottes are like capri length. And they're nice wide legs, so they're nice and cool for the summer, but they also are still pretty high coverage. So if you're uncomfortable about showing your thighs, that could be the first step in just showing parts of your legs. And then you could switch to longer shorts, like Bermuda shorts or midi shorts, and then work your way up to wearing the shorts you love. And like, if you love wearing Bermuda shorts, then wear that, but you shouldn't only be allowed to wear those. You should be able to wear booty shorts if you wanted to. Personally, I like midi shorts the best. I think they look really good on me. They're more comfortable. I don't have to deal with chub rub as much. But I used to think I had to wear Bermuda shorts because my thighs were too big. But like, that's stupid. Because we all deserve to wear the clothes we want to wear. We all deserve to show off our bodies during the summer. And on that note, beach bodies, the, the notion, the idea that we have to change our bodies to wear a bikini is so ridiculous and stupid. I hate it. I hate the idea of like, oh, gotta get that beach body now. Like, no, you already have a beach body. Just go to the beach. Well, 
not right now, but go to the beach when it's safe, and then you can have a beach body. Don't wait to live your life until you have the body you think will be good enough, because it's never going to be good enough. If you think like that, it's never going to be good enough. Just know that you are enough the way you are. Your body is never going to be perfect, but that's part of what makes it so beautiful. And honestly, confidence is the most flattering thing you can wear. Like, if you feel good in your outfit, other people are going to notice. And if you feel good, that's what really matters. Go ahead and wear that crop top, or wear those booty shorts, or wear that bikini. Live your life, and enjoy your summer. I mean, as best we can. Um, please stay safe, and don't do anything stupid, and listen to health professionals. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for listening to my mini rant. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I wasn't out of focus. I don't know. We'll find out. Remember. Like brain empty. That's all. That's a, that's all I got left. So yeah. Bye guys.